Hi everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Garden. I'm not in my garden today. I'm back over in Mum's garden, her beautiful courtyard garden. She lives in Romford and she's had a, an eye operation a couple of weeks ago. She's not allowed to do any gardening. So we went out to garden centre, was it last weekend? Looking for some colour and some cheer but it's a bit too early for annuals so we ended up coming away with nothing there wasn't really enough choice we've got to wait till say mid-may but i thought i'll come over today early in the morning i don't think she knows i'm here i've let myself in and uh, i'm going to plant up her little circle garden to give her a little bit of color until it's time for the annuals so i thought i'd do that i've got a beautiful selection of pansies just just brighten up her garden, give her a little bit of cheer. She's not allowed to do any gardening because of infections, first of all. Um, playing around in the dirt is not good for infections, just in case. And also, she's not supposed to be look downwards for any length of time. And of course, that's what you would do if you were gardening. So let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what I've bought, show you what I'm planning to do just uh, to make it cheerful for her. So just a reminder of her garden. As I say, it's a very beautiful little courtyard garden. Mum is uh, a wonderful gardener. So she's got this lovely rockery and I might, I notice a gap here. We could put something in that gap there. But she's got a lot of lovely plants. She's got, um, Pulmonaria lungwort, very beautiful, and a wonderful fatsia. I actually pruned her roses a couple of weeks ago. These roses all along the top are stunning in the summer, but I gave them a good prune. So hopefully we'll be able to come back later this year and they will be gorgeous also pruned her hydrangea. She's got some hookahs. This is the bed that I'd like to do today. And she already has some euonymus. And this here is called armeria. And it's commonly known as sea thrift. She says it has beautiful pink flowers, which last all summer long. But as you can see, it's got really big. Now what I thought we could do, and it's got gaps as well, as you can see. But what I thought we could do is take it out, divide it up into smaller pieces and maybe put them all the way around the edge. So I thought that would look very pretty. So we're going to do that. And then I have these, which I've brought along just lots of colourful, cheerful pansies and I couldn't decide what colours so I've just got a real mixture and as I say they will cheer things up just until it's time for annuals and for the middle I've got one of these, it's beautiful, it's in erythimum and the tag says that it will last for three to four years before it needs replacing so it grows 20 inches high eventually and spreads 28 inches, likes a sunny spot. This is a very sunny spot. So we're going to put that probably in the centre. So let's dig one up.
Okay. And so here we are. Gosh, it's heavy. And it just pulls away. So that's quite easy. And inside, there's a lot of roots. So what we could do is just take lots of little pieces like that and plant them all the way around the edge. So I'm just breaking off lots of little pieces. Try not to make a mess. Hopefully the same kind of size. breaking away very easily. And out of that one, I've got loads. I think we'll be able to plant it quite thickly. Right, let's do the others. See how many we've got and then put them all the way around the edge. Okay, so mum's just brought me a cup of coffee and I've told her she's not allowed to look till it's done. Um, she knows what I'm doing though, trying to get a circle of the thrift around the edge. But she says, quite fortunately, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because she's had them so long. But I just thought it'd be nice to try to see if it does. Also, she's told me this is a fuchsia, this one here. And it's just beginning to grow. So I'm not going to move I've decided I'm not going to move any of the plants that are already in here because you know what I like moving plants. We're just going to put the thrift around the edge and then dot the pansies all over. That little stone thing there is a little off centre for my liking but I'm going to leave it because this is just temporary. Mum can change this when she's able to do some gardening. Put the erisimum there, that would be centre, so that works out quite well. Dot the pansies around and then we'll come back on the edge and uh, give the thrift a go. That can go in there, that's gonna look lovely. One thing I forgot to bring is my slow release fertiliser, unfortunately, but I think it'd be fine. Mum has green fingers. She'll, she'll be able to make everything thrive. So that's that.
this will get a lot bigger because my one is now this size so eventually it will will grow quite a lot or I guess you can keep it pruned smaller if you wanted to right so that's that that's beautiful I'll give her the tag so she can read up about that and uh, pansies so I've just got lots of gorgeous coloured pansies I couldn't decide on the colour so we just went for a real real mixture let's get the pansies in So the pansies are in, I think it looks very pretty. It felt to me that it should be formal, which is why I put them all the way around in a circle. I've left the gap for the thrift. So this is going to be the trickiest part. I do have a few left over, which I can add as well. And I've also got one tray there, but I thought I could put those in that little gap there. So, it's pretty hopefully they will uh, fill in but let's have a go at this pile of thrift and see how easy it will be i'm hoping to get all that in so we'll try and get each piece around about the same size see what happens Easier said than done. You think these things are easy in your mind. Yeah. So, I don't know what this is going to be like. I'll do my best. And hopefully we'll root him. Hopefully, anyway. So I hope you can see that I'm doing opposite. So we've got one here, so far one here. Then I'll do that one, oops, and this one. And then we'll just keep going across. I think I've got enough, oh, we'll see. Let's just see what happens. Off we go. So here it is all finished. I think it looks very, very colourful and cheerful. And I managed to get quite a lot of the thrift in around the edges, but I've no idea how well that's going to take. Some plants just do, they just root in and they're happy. So we shall see, but like mum says, she's not too sad if, uh, if it doesn't work out. And I managed to get a few pansies planted over here as well in her lovely rockery. So let's see if she likes it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. She's very, very happy. And like I say, I've no idea if this thrift is going to take, but like she said, 
She's had it quite a few years. She doesn't mind if, if she loses it now and she can have something else. So it would be interesting to see if it does take some plants, just, just do, you can do anything to them. So we shall see, and if it does bloom again, I will bring you back and show you. So thank you for watching. I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener. I hope you're having fun in your gardens. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.